For our first enhancement, we are going to change the icon in the button on Open and on Close. Let's return to the JavaScript and add a toggle to the hamburger button as well as the unordered list. So both are toggling the Open class. Now when we click the hamburger, we can see a class of Open being added to both elements. In the HTML, let's remove the hamburger entity we were using. In the small CSS file, let's use CSS to insert an equal symbol as our navigation icon. I will use the pseudo class of before and the content statement. Apple uses this symbol for their site and I kind of like it. Down here, when a class of open has been added, let's change the equals to an X. So what if you did not like the equals but wanted the hamburger back? If you open this link to the hamburger entity, you can see a reference to use for CSS code. Let's copy backslash 2630 and paste it in our CSS file. Now our hamburger is back for small screens.